All right, let, let's do a role play, right? So you're your property owner. Ring, ring, ring. Yep. Hello. Hey, Sean. Hi. Who's this? Hey, hey, Sean. Ricky Carruth here. Whatever real estate in whatever area. How you doing today? I'm I'm good. Cool, man. Me too. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous out there? Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. How, how'd you get my number? <laughs> oh, I found it online somewhere. Listen, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but there was a house right around the corner from you that just sold. Just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Cool. 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 Is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? Uh, no, we, we've lived here for a while. We're good. Got you, man. Cool. Well, listen, I'm sure at some point in the next five or 10 years, let's say, I'm sure you're probably going to buy or sell a piece of real estate, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I suppose. I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Cool. Listen, hey, I'm just here to help. Um, I'd love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be hard if I just stayed in touch with you? Um, uh, sure. Yeah, I guess. Cool. Oh, I'm kind of what's a good email now. for yeah. you. Hey, what's a what's a good email? Okay. All right. Cool. Is this your cell phone number? Great. Well, listen, man. It's been good to, to meet you. Get to know you for just a sec. Um, if you need anything in the world whatsoever, I'm gonna stay in touch with you via email. So I'm just again, I'm just right down the road. By the way, <laughs> I'm yeah. like right yeah. down the road. I'm a phone call right. away. If you need something, like you need help moving a piece of furniture. You give old Rick a shout. I'll uh, tell everybody I said, hey, and we will talk to you soon. Okay. All right. And then and then you're just adding that to your database and just and trickling them, I guess. Exactly. And so that's kind okay. of a script. I mean, so that's the script. But what what ends up happening is, is you end up. You end up, uh, you know, um, relating with something you find some common ground and normally you get into conversations that spiral into just different areas of the conversation but it all kind of comes back to the same place yeah um but yeah like and the ones that are kind of standoffish like um like like you were um doesn't bother me at all i mean i'm sure. just because like they're just they have their block up kind of like okay who you call me and i'm just here to say hey i'm nope nope you know like they're I'm safe. I'm a safe person. I'm not trying to get right. you to do anything right. or right. anything like that. I'm just using your property. This is what I'm doing. I'm using your property as an excuse to see if I can get into a conversation and get to know you. That is it. I, okay. I have zero expectations if they're going to buy, if they're going to sell. I don't care about any of that whatsoever. Again, the number one reason why people choose a real estate agent is because they had a friend in the business that with a great reputation. So I right. want to be that friend in the business with a great right. reputation. The only way I can be that friend in the business with a great reputation is if I call and talk to them and create that friendship right. and then have a great reputation. So coach me right now. What would you do tomorrow if you were me? What would you do today right now? <laughs> Should I get up and leave this conversation right now and go somewhere else? What, what would you do um, like I would just study my MLS every single day, right? The hot sheet. I would understand the new listings coming in. I would uh, look at closed sales pending expires. I would just glance at that every single day so that I could yeah. slowly become a market expert really overnight. Then I want to okay. pick out some subdivisions. I really want to zero in on and really learn them from front to back. Go look at all the active listings firsthand, walk through the houses, um, talk to agents that have sold in those subdivisions and stuff. And then I'm going to call all the owners. I'm going to hit them with everything, direct mail, social media, phone calls. Um, I'm a, if I can get into, if I can do some open houses in that subdivision, I'm really going to crush that subdivision and really milk it uh, for everything I can um, until okay. I've just completely exhausted that subdivision. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the next one. And then we go from subdivision to subdivision to subdivision, just absolutely just expanding my footprint. Because I'm going to pick up a few friends in this subdivision, a few friends in that subdivision, a few right. friends in that subdivision. Right. And I'm going to keep on going until I've got a good 5,000 people in my market that own property that I want to sell that are friends with me. Right. And that'll take me a good five years to do that. But again, I'm not trying, I'm not going to sell anyone the dream. Um, right. This is not the dream. The right. dream is the dream is after you've put that work in for a decade or two yeah. that you've got a database big enough to rely on for past clients, referrals and referrals of referrals. Whereas these people aren't they're, they're not interviewing three agents. They're calling you. They're right. calling one agent. Right. And that's the right. dream to get to that part of your career. Um, yeah. But it, it there's so much barrier of entry to get to that part of your career. 
that you might as well not even talk about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so true. So it's I would true. study my MLS every day. Okay. Right. I would I would absolutely crush each subdivision one at a time, studying the history, studying every little thing about it, calling all the owners. So when you say study the MLS, just so I can kind of get conceptually. So when you're what 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 is that that uh what's that information you're trying to glean? I mean, obviously then the the obvious I'm going to the hot sheet. Are you going deeper? You're talking about talking about just the general market, the hot sheet okay. and stuff. Okay. I'm going to the hot sheet. I'm just looking at new listings, glancing okay. through them, seeing if anything sticks out. When you do this, you're going to see listings that you may have buyers for. And you're like, oh man, look, this might be good for so-and-so. And you send it to them. Okay. Or you're also going to see things come up in subdivisions and condo complexes that you represent, that you represented a buyer that's already in there, that owns in there. And you're going to say, man, that's cool. Something popped up in there. I'm going to send this to him and check on him and see how he's doing. You know, it reminds you to call certain clients and stuff. But not only that, you become very hands-on with the market. You've, you've kind of got your pulse on the market really closely. And when people start asking you about the market, it's gonna you're going to spit stuff off the top of your head. I right. remember when I was doing this, right, when right. I was at the top of my game, like in my market, like in, in it, um, people would say, oh, well, what about this building? I'm like, oh, there's four for sale in there ranging. Right. From, I, I could just say all this stuff off the top of my head because I'm watching the hot sheet every day. I see right. the listings as they come on. I see the same listings go under contract in a week or two. Um, you know, when and then they close at whatever price. I just when you when you're looking at that every day, you just subconsciously become like one of the you know major market experts of the area really okay. quickly. So you become this yeah. market expert. Okay. Then you're dominating each subdivision. You're you're right. spending all morning calling on the phone, making calls, having conversations at a very high frequency. And then all afternoon you're doing your marketing, whether that's written word, SEO, blog making videos, emails, direct mail, handwritten letters, whatever your marketing strategy is, you're going to implement that in the afternoon. It's real simple stuff, bro. So when you're calling, when you're calling, cause I, I, I've talked to a couple of people who've done it and obviously I'm, I'm not afraid of the phones, but that's back when I was, you know, selling mortgages and stuff and calling people at dinner time. When you say, you know, banging and clanging, you know, in the mornings, like, a, what's a good number? Like how many people are you calling to? What what are you talking about? I mean, are there like scripts? Like, I, I mean, we're just going to pretend I'm at ground zero here because I am, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so the, 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 all my scripts are on zero to diamond.com. There's uh, everything's totally free. Yeah. You just go there. And You're relatively new script. to me. I, I'm like I said, I've just kind of, I stumbled across you and I was like, I heard, I don't know, I think somebody else who, a friend of mine was watching you. And so I kind of was like, okay, I'm going to see what he's watching. So, so I've got courses apologies. there. I'll, I'll check it I've out. Got a ton, I've got tons of courses there. They're all totally free. You can go there and download everything. The scripts, how to get numbers, videos of me making calls, the whole nine yards. Um, okay. But, but when I'm calling, right, I'm at, seeing if it's who I'm supposed to be talking to, right? Like Mr. Johnson. Um, okay. For me at that point, it's, uh, it's time to get after it because once I realize that this is the name of the game, how many property owners can I talk to? Yeah. Then game over. And that's what it was. I did this until I was selling 100 properties a year and I didn't care about anything else. So basically, your method was just that you started your morning off just, just dialing and not really. Out. I want to organize my business at eight o'clock and really yeah. schedule my day on a, on a legal pad. And then I want to study MLS for a good 15 minutes and really wrap my head around what's happening new in the market okay. from yesterday. And then I want to start thinking about who I'm going to call about 830 and really get all my ducks in a row with the numbers and the dialer and scripts and, you know, data that I need for the calls. Okay. And then by nine o'clock, I'm dialing nine to 12. So I don't care how many numbers I dial. What I care about is how many hours I dialed. So like okay. I may have a three hour session where. I call a hundred dials and talk to, you know, five of them talk to, talk to me for 30 minutes a piece. Yeah. And then the next day I may dial, you know, I may dial 250 numbers where I had only one person that talked to me for 20 minutes. Right. So sure. I can't, I can't dictate day to day. Right. How many people are going to pick up? How many people are going to want to talk for a while? You know, good, good call sessions, bad. Call. I, I can't, you know, Right. You can't uh, predict it, right. that yeah. part. So yeah. I don't care how many dials I make. What mm -hmm. I care is, is that I was on the phone for those three hours that I dedicated to my business to do, you know, okay. for that day. 
now if all of to... this is on the the zero to diamond then so because i'm i'm kind of clueless to all this i've got some great people who've mentored me i know you, you probably know how exp works so i've got some great people who have mentored me but the the downside i guess to my mentors is they are all they've been in just forever and so they've got such a great database they've got such a network that that um you know you know they're not dialing they're not even doing social media for that matter they yeah. literally just kind of live in that database that they have and so right i'm 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 like hey what do i do and they're like you're really good at social media i'm like that's so great guess i don't care <laughs> you know what i mean because it's good you get a lot of people who see your face and i think facebook gave me 31 dollars last month and i'm like yeah so what you have to do with social media bro is you have to engage with other people so you have to use it like a social media platform which means you need to look up people that are in your area and follow them, um, message them, like and comment under their post. Try to get them to engage back in a DM or something like that. Um, have a really clear bio that shows, you know, who you are, what you do, you know, where, where you're at. A lot of real estate agents in their bio, I can't even tell what market they're in. Um, <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? It just yeah, says real well, estate agent. I'm like, well, where are you? I can't really right. tell. Right. You need to have it really clear uh, where you are, what you're doing. And that way, when they go to their bot, when they go to your bio, they know exactly who you are and what you're doing. Yeah. So, um, but you need to, you need to be engaging and try to create those back and forths, yeah. you know, um, and then that could go to the same place. Like, how you doing? You know, enjoying yeah. the day, yeah. you know, uh, you know, I sell real estate, you know, something right. I could do for you, you know, right. great. Do you have an agent you might work with? Okay, cool. Uh, oh, you know, so can cool. I stay in touch? Great. What's a good email? It's right. all the same stuff. Right. No, yeah. that's awesome. Hey, I appreciate it. I 35 with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop a couple bands on the crypto.